Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marissa. So I know that I said at the beginning of the summer that I was going to try to be so much better with this. And as it turns out, um, I still suck at it. I don't know if posting on this channel every single week is going to be a thing. I'm just trying to juggle this and doing social media for my gym. And I've been posting there all the time, but as a result, my personal channel like hasn't had a lot going on. So today is, it's currently Tuesday. In exactly a week and one day, so next Wednesday, I am leaving for Florida. And the guy that I'm seeing is coming with me and we are gonna stay at my cousin's house. I usually go just about every year for the last few years, but last year her and her husband came here and this time I'm going there and they live in Tampa and I'm so, so, so excited. And because I'm going, I thought that it was an excuse to buy more, you guessed it, bathing suits. Um, I don't really know, it's a problem, genuinely. I had one bathing suit that got me from senior year of high school, so 2012 to um, 2020. So for like eight years, I was just riding on that bathing suit and I had one other one, so two. In the last three years, the collection has kind of grown, maybe a little more, um, a little too much for somebody who lives in upstate New York, but I think that they're really fun and I like doing these hauls so that people can see what these bathing suits look like on like a live human, I don't know. And it seems like people like these too. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six bathing suits here. Some of them are kind of similar. I think all, almost all of them, a few of them are bandeaus. One of them I have in two different colors. I'll probably only keep one. I don't know if I'm keeping all these. I haven't tried them on yet. So you are going to be getting a live reaction. Within the next few days, I really need to start packing just so that I don't wear any of the clothes that I wanna bring because then I have to wash them and do all that kind of crazy stuff. So I wanna figure out what I'm keeping from this new order so that I can figure out what bathing suits I have already and start packing for Florida. So this vlog is going to be a Shein bathing suit haul and it's gonna be me packing and getting ready for the trip. I have some things that I have to do today and it's already 3.15, so let's get a move on. First up, we have this bathing suit. All these bathing suits are from Shein, by the way. This is an extra small. The bottoms are um, thong bottoms, so I am for sure not turning around. I probably won't turn around for like any of these. This is just a bandeau. I honestly ordered it just because the material looked nice. I saw someone on Instagram wearing the same one and I love the color yellow because it's a happy color. And one of my best friends says that that's the color that reminds her of me. And also it makes me look really tan. So I think this one's cute. It honestly fits really, really well. I'll probably take the little cut things out of here because when I go to wash it, they're just gonna fall out anyway. I really, really like this. Um, it fits a lot better than I was expecting. I feel like with Shein, things are either way too small, way too big. I never know what size to get, but I like this. This is very, like the material doesn't feel cheap. It honestly feels really nice. And this is the second bathing suit. So I tried ordering this in the last Shein bathing suit haul that I did, which I think was right around when I went to Disney in May. And I got this top, but they only had it in a small when I ordered it. And it was big and this little knot thing in the middle was super uneven. I feel like it's still a tiny bit uneven. Like this one definitely jets out more than that one does. But I like it a lot and now it came with the matching bottoms. When I ordered it back in May, it was just the top and it was way too big on me and this thing was all weird. I really like this. I don't have anything that's this color or just like this style bathing suit. Um, the bottoms are a little bit cheeky, but not too bad. I think that I'll probably keep this one just because I've already ordered it twice now. And the whole reason that I got this in the first place is because like five people that I follow on Instagram all happened to be wearing this bathing suit in different colors. So I at least knew that it was decent quality. This is the next bathing suit. I got this one in another color. Purple's my favorite color. And I just liked the style of this. It has adjustable straps. A little cheeky, not too bad. So I could probably wear this anywhere and it wouldn't be a big deal. Um, this one fits really well. It has really good, I mean, like I said, it's adjustable, which is nice. And it has 
like really good material. I feel like sometimes things from Shein feel super cheap, but their bathing suits, honestly, they do a pretty good job and they're so cheap that it's honestly criminal to not order stuff. I know everyone's obsessed with like Timu lately. I haven't gotten anything from there. I feel like that website has a lot going on and it's very overstimulating. So I've been sticking to Shein for now, but I do really like this bathing suit. I'm almost thinking that I might keep the other color instead of this one. But as far as fit goes, it definitely fits really, really well. This is the next one, and this is the only mismatch thing that I got. It occurred to me around the 4th of July that I don't have any like red, white, blue kind of bathing suit stuff. So I wanted to order this just to see if I liked it. These are the same style bottoms as that first yellow bathing suit that I tried and they fit really, really well. They're like thong kind of bottoms. Um, and then I don't have any bandeaus that are this style or have this like knot in the middle. And I thought it was cute. Maybe I'll keep this. I like the bottoms. I feel like I could do better as far as the top goes. It's not as bright a red as I really would have wanted, but I do like the style of it. And that brings us to this one. This is the exact same bathing suit as this purple one that I tried on, except it's a lighter pink and then it has like a hot pink trim. I'm kind of leaning more towards this bathing suit because I don't have a lot of pink, surprisingly. I don't think, I have one bathing suit that has pink flowers on it, but it's the one that I got 11 years ago when I was in high school. So it might be time to get something new. I'm leaning a little bit more towards this and especially now that the Barbie movie's out and everybody's all about the pink, and all of that and I feel like this color makes me look pretty tan and the only reason that I don't think I'd keep both is that they're the exact same bathing suit and I already got a top that had purple in it a couple months ago so I think that I might keep this one just for the fact that it's pink and it, it adds like some new color in my collection and this is the last bathing suit that I got I thought it was really cute it has all this like floral print on it it's the same style as that teal one that had the little like knots right here but i thought this was cute it's very printed all of the other ones that i got were pretty much solid color and none of them had any like designs on them same bathing suit as the teal same material same fit same like cheeky bottom this one fits really really well too i i'm gonna have to send some pictures of me wearing these to some of my friends and see which ones i should be keeping because I don't really feel like I need to keep all of these, especially because so many of them are super similar. They're bandeaus in different colors or that pink and purple one are the same. The only other thing I bought that I just don't feel like trying on is these bottoms instead of the blue ones that I already had on. And these ones are just cheeky. They're not like thong. And then it just has these, these little like slits on the side. But I don't really feel like trying these on helped me <laughs> very much decide which ones I want to keep. I think I definitely want to keep the pink. Maybe the first blue bottoms I put on. I like the teal one. I like this one. I like the yellow. I don't know. How many bathing suits is too many bathing suits for someone to have when you live somewhere that's cold like nine months a year? Your guess is as good as mine because at this point I can't stop. I mean at least these are cheap and I can always send them back whenever I'm decide I'm not keeping them or whatever and it's not a big deal but I watch all these people on YouTube and Instagram and they have all these cute bathing suits and da 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 da, da and I just I nothing gets me more hype for a trip in nice weather than having new bathing suits to wear and I really only have a little over a month left of summer and I haven't barely like scratched the surface on all my bathing suits but there's some trips coming up this year that are going to be going to hot places so I can definitely work my way through all of these. I'm sure that I'll still buy more, but it doesn't really seem like there's an end in sight anytime soon as far as bathing suits go. That is the try on haul. So that is part one of this video and I'm just going to keep vlogging throughout the next week, packing, pedicure, getting my nails done and anything along those lines. I was putting all those away and realized I forgot this one. This one is cute and I'm kind of sad. I really like the bottoms. I think they're cute. I like the color. I like this and it like goes across my back like that. They're just big. Like if I relax my shoulders, I feel like they'll move around a lot. And I try to see if it's supposed to go over my head. 
but it's definitely not. I do like the concept of this bathing suit though. One more thing today, there's literally nothing better than coming back from a trip where you haven't slept in your bed in a really long time and it's all clean. So in there, there, I cleaned my sheets, my pillowcases, my comforter, and I am gonna make my bed because starting tonight, I'm dog sitting all the way up until the night before we leave. And then the night before we leave, I'm just gonna stay at the guy that I've been seeing. I'm just gonna stay at his house because we're just gonna drive to the airport in the morning together because our flight leaves at the butt crack of dawn. So whenever I end up returning back to my home, I will be sleeping in fresh, clean, and crisp sheets. And I honestly can't wait. And she is all made, ready for me to sleep in. Not for another like two weeks, but it's fine. And yes, I understand it's summer, but I have to sleep with a throw blanket and pull it directly up to my face every time I'm sleeping. What of it? Leave me alone. I can't, I don't feel safe unless I have a throw blanket up to here. Also, while we're here, the lighting is absolutely atrocious, but let's do a cute little haul. I went to TJ Maxx and the mall last week and I got a couple things. Okay, starting off strong, I got five of these. It's the Kim Aid Alani's and I went to like four different stores looking for these because my friend Sam said she wanted one and then we all wanted to try it. So I've got a bunch of them. Finally found them at Dick's. These are Nightmare Before Christmas Jack Skellington like Halloween towels. This is for my friend Sam but it's mostly for her three-year-old um, she loves this movie and she calls him Spooky Jack. And when I saw these, they were an absolute must have. I know that a three-year-old might not care about towels, but I had to get them. And then these are the Disney brand Hocus Pocus towels. These are for me and they have little bats on them. And my shower curtain that I use around Halloween has bats on it. So I've been looking for bat stuff to keep in my bathroom right around Halloween time. And Hocus Pocus is one of my all-time favorite movies ever. And then I got this cute toy because my sister's getting a puppy in the next couple of days. So that's for him. And then I'm not going to roll this whole thing out. This is a bath mat and it's so soft and it has all the freaking bats on it. So my whole entire bathroom is going to be nice and bat themed and coordinated for the holidays. And then I had to get some candles. So I got apple walnut, which smells delicious. And I got witch's brew, which also smells really, really good. I have a candle problem. I didn't need any of this stuff, by the way. And then these are from American Eagle. So let's see if I can do this with one hand. It says, it says spread kindness and it's a crop shirt and it's almost like a little lilac -y color and it's got these cute little mushrooms on it. And then I also got this wife beater like um, crop tank top. I went down to the lake last week and there's this huge TJ Maxx down there and that's where I found all that Halloween stuff. I'm a sucker for Hocus Pocus and just if you're going to move out on your own at some point or if you already do, the smartest thing for you to do is to get holiday decorations after the holiday's over. Now I understand that I have a bunch of holiday stuff. It's from TJ Maxx, so it's already discounted. It's freaking, if you ever need Disney brand stuff, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, they always have so much stuff going on there. That is Disney brand. But hopefully I can be smarter and when the holidays are over this year, I can start getting more and more because eventually whenever I get into a house, I want there to be like kind of a cohesive theme either in the whole house or each room as far as holidays go. And I would love to be that stereotypical person who decorates for just about every single holiday. So the collection is slowly starting to build. I look super, super busted right now. And my stomach really hurts, but it is currently Monday night and I am going to wax myself because I leave for Florida bright and early Wednesday morning. I'm not going to show you that process because TBH, it takes a long time and that's a little personal. And sometimes I'm in a full sweat and sometimes I'm just cursing and saying really bad words really loud because it doesn't feel great. But this is the Kula Wax. 
and I have this little cut thing that you can put in the microwave and I use hard wax so that I don't have to mess with like the paper strips. I put some music on, I set a little vibe and I really need to get this going. I don't wanna do it, but the longer I hold it off, the more uncomfy it's gonna feel. And I last waxed like three weeks ago. So this really shouldn't be that bad, technically. The little cup. I'm just gonna pour some of my beads in here. Oh, or, or I'm gonna miss. And a lot of them are gonna fall on the floor. I'm doing this with one hand and it is not easy peasy lemon squeezy. I'm gonna take this cup. I usually microwave it for like two to three minutes to get it all melty. It's supposed to be like the consistency of honey. So it's going to be super hot when I take it out of the microwave. And then I just let it cool a little. I put some on my wrist so I can see how hot it is because I don't want to give myself third degree burns. And then I just mix it with this little plastic thing. And I also have these oils. So one of them is for before and the other one is for after just to open up the pores. I don't really know what it's used for, to be honest with you. I started waxing myself... I started this journey um, like a year and a half ago. Ironically enough, I'm dog sitting right now, by the way. Ironically enough, the first time I ever waxed myself was also at this house. So we're coming full circle. Um, I just can't afford another expensive habit because I get my lashes done and my nails done. And this is something I can easily do by myself. It takes no, I used to get them done. It's like $60. I'm good. Um, it doesn't take any like learning. Like if I did my own nails or my lashes, I would really have to dive deep. You just lay the wax on there and rip your skin off and pray to Jesus. Um, yeah. So I am going to go have a, have a lovely time with this. And tomorrow is my last day before we leave. And boy, do I have a packed day. We are going to bring this camera back when I finish ripping off layers of skin. Happy Tuesday. It is almost 12 o'clock. I just got home from the house I was dog sitting at because they get home today. And now I need to start packing. I need to unpack everything that I brought to this house. And now I have to start actually packing what I'm planning to bring to Florida. Luckily, I have it all laid out. I'm sure that I probably already have too many clothes, but I have a full laundry basket of clean clothes in my car too that I didn't have the energy to bring in. So I'm sure there's some more stuff in there that I wanna bring. We're gonna see how long this takes me. It's currently 11.51 a.m. I'm getting my nails done at, at 12.45. So I'm gonna do this as fast as I can. As soon as my nails are done, I'm gonna come back here put in anything else last minute that I'm gonna need. And then I have to be at the gym for a meeting at 2.30. And the plan is to take everything that I'm gonna need for the trip and for tonight with me, cause I'm not sleeping home tonight and not have to come back to my house. Time check, 11.51 AM. Let's see how long this takes me. We are at the nail salon. I have five minutes to spare, so I'm gonna talk really fast. This is what the nails currently look like. This is like, three and a half, four weeks grown out. They're not too bad. They were cute little watermelons. Um, I just have like some of the polishes chipping. I have a couple ideas for what I want to do with my nails right now. I'm thinking like an orange or a pink kind of vibe with some like little designs. I have like two pictures and I'm usually, I usually just let the lady who does my nails, I usually just let Misty choose which one she wants to do. So I am going to run in there. It is an absolutely dreadful day in Rochester, New York. I am going to be in 95 degree weather for the entire week that I'm in Florida. So it's currently 65 here. Um, and I actually packed sunblock. Hello, people walking by me. I actually packed sunscreen. I almost never wear sunscreen, which is so bad for you. It's in my moisturizer, but aside from that, I don't usually wear it. So maybe I'll actually take care of my skin on this trip. Anyway, 
I'm gonna go in and get my nails done and I will show you the final result. And we are all done. It is now 1.50. She took me like 15 minutes later than my appointment, but these are the nails. Pink, orange, blue, little like squigglies. Very summer, very cute. Unlike what's happening outside my window right now. I got most of my stuff packed, but right now I'm not gonna have time to go home and then go to the gym. So I'm just gonna drive straight to the gym, do our meeting, and then I'm getting a pedicure and that's like right down the street from my house. So I think after that, I'm gonna have to run in my house, empty out my laundry basket in my car and pick what I need for Florida out of there. And then I'm gonna have to go back to the gym cause I'm not going, I'm not sleeping at my house tonight. So there's a lot going on. It's about 65 degrees outside, which is just the most precious thing in the world considering it's August and this summer has just been rainy and crappy. Um, I think that's everything for now. I'm feeling a little, a little stressy, tiny bit. I don't know why, like I'll be fine. Just, just a smidge. I am going to go to the gym for my meeting. See you later. Good morning. It's bright and early. I'm about to leave for Florida. I need to finish this video because I have a fun little habit of never finishing my videos, but that was me getting ready and packing for Florida. I am off to 97 degree weather with a feels like of over 100. Honestly, I can't wait to be in the sun and do all the fun things and spend time with my cousin. And this is, I don't think I've been to her house in two years because she came here last year. And I am super, super excited to have this vacation, it is gonna be the perfect way to almost end my summer, but that is the end of the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn your post notifications on. Bye.